Hi, I'm Miss Ronnie from North Park Elementary, and I'm the art teacher here, and I wanted to do my lesson this week on a collage. It's a, a snowman collage. My objective says I can create a snowman collage. So today we're going to do a snowman collage together. First of all, you need to know what a collage is, because you're probably saying, what is that? It's just where you make a picture out of just cut pieces of paper or scrap pieces of paper or scrap pieces of newspaper and scrap pieces of um, magazines that you could find different colors that you wanted to use. Even paper. So what I've got, let's talk about the materials that we're going to be using. What I've got is, I've got a construction paper which you could use just a plain piece of paper, but this makes it easier for you guys to be able to see. So I've got black construction paper. These are actually just something that I started already. Um, I've got a piece of white paper that I already had drawn a small, medium, and a large circle on. So you're gonna need a white piece of paper that you can draw a small, medium, and large snowball circle and you don't have to write the words I just always wrote the words for the kids and I'd made copies of it I'll show you a picture of what we're going to be making today this is an older one that is our snowman collage I've got a glue stick I've got scissors I've got the white paper the black paper you can see some orange and green paper here um, I've also got some strips that I made for black paper and brown paper because I was thinking about the sticks that you might want to make for the arms on a snowman. You can get as detailed as you want or you can make it as easy as you want. A lot of times if you have time some of the students wanted to add details like scarves and buttons and um, they wanted to put their gloves and mittens on it so and hats. So I let them do that. They just use scrap pieces of paper to do it. I'm going to go ahead and cut out. You might have to pause it in between, that's fine, so that you can get all of your materials together. I'm gonna to start cutting out this last snowball that I made, the small one. And when you make your snowman, you have to do it in order, right? You have to do large at the bottom, medium, and a small at the top. You're going to want to glue those down. Usually I put glue on the back of my pieces so they don't have glue all over my paper. So put glue on the back of your pieces would be a little bit neater that way. And glue those on. You already have the beginning of your snowman that way. I'm going to put my lid back on. Now, snow. How I made snow for the bottom of the paper was I just took my extra scrap paper and I took a strip of it. So cut a strip. Or you can cut two. And I made snow that way. It doesn't always have to be something that's pre-made for you. You can make your own. Remember that a collage is made out of cut pieces of paper. It doesn't mean that it has to be made for you so that you can make your own. You can make some falling out of the sky and you glue them on. You can make some at the bottom of your picture. bottom of your picture. Some snow down there. You can make it look like it's falling from the sky too. And there's your snow. Now the next thing I'm going to do is the button for the eyes and the mouth and down the front. I've cut little strips of black paper. That's all I did. I cut little strips of black paper. 
and that's what I use. Now I'm not going to take the time to glue all of that on so that you can see me do it though. I'm going to put it on just like this. Or you could put it up and down if you wanted to. You can make them smaller. Usually I do. Make him have a little mouth. Just like that. Now, for his nose, it's usually a carrot, right? So we'd have to change that over to orange. I'm going to put some buttons going down the middle. Okay. There's some buttons. I did have a big piece of orange paper that I found. So I'm just going to cut. It just needs to be a little triangle, right? For a nose. And you glue it right on there for his nose. Yes, just like that. For his nose. You can cut that off and make it a little bit smaller if you wanted to. I think I just made mine a triangle. This way instead. Get them situated the way you want them. Now I told you that I had a brown piece of paper to make his arms out of. I'm just going to cut this one in half. Right? Make his arms. I would glue those down like that. And then maybe use just a little bit of piece of paper. Make it look like there was a little stick that was sticking off there if you wanted to. Okay. Now I know that it, some people think that it's really complicated to make um, hats. It's not really that complicated. You just cut them in the shape that you want them. You make rect take a rectangle, take a triangle, and I cut this little hump shape to make a toboggan. And you can put a little ball on the end of there to make his toboggan. It's like a triangle, but it's kind of crooked on the top. So you'd add a little circle at the bottom or at the top of it, hang it over, and make it look like there's a ball. Now, I know that this is a little challenging for some of you whenever you have to work on your cutting skills, but this is very good practice. I usually tell the boys and girls to draw on the scrap pieces of paper and then cut it out. It makes it a little bit easier for them that way. Um, then they can practice their cutting skills and they can draw and know what they're cutting out first. Making two humps like that is the way I make some gloves. And um, for my scarf, I just cut a strip, a long rectangle, and a short rectangle. You can see them there. Your long rectangle can go across and you might want to make it a little shorter. And then your short rectangle hang down like that. It makes it look like a scarf hanging. Here, let me fix that. Made it a little shorter for you. Don't forget, we're gluing these pieces on. Miss Ronnie's not gluing all of the pieces on so you don't have to wait for me whenever I'm doing this. All right, I'm only missing one mitten then. And those mittens, it kind of looks like a heart shape when you cut it out. It's not real difficult, but it, if you draw it, it might make it a little bit easier. It's a little bit of a challenge for some of us because it's a little bitty. It's okay. If you have to try more than once to do it, that's a, not a big deal. If you don't want to do the mittens, you can always just add um, a whole hump and it'll look like a mitten still yet. And there's my snowman. I've got the 
snow pieces. This is a collage, so it's completely out of cut pieces of paper. I did not draw on it at all. I'm using just scrap pieces of paper that I had left over from other projects that I've done. If you can't find construction paper around your house, that's fine. You might be able to find some color pieces of paper that are in your magazines or in um, some newspaper that you've got and you can cut those pieces out and use those as your hat and gloves and your scarf maybe an orange piece for your nose and your arms. I think he's a really cute snowman. I like him. I'm going to put some glue on the back of my pieces and glue him down so that I can keep him for an example for next year. I hope you've enjoyed making this with me. I'd love to see some of your projects that you get back and you make. Um, if you'd like to make your snowman and send them to me on Class Dojo, or you can send them to my email at genie.riney at harden.kentuckyschools.us. I love seeing your work whenever you finish it. Just go ahead and send it to me whenever you finish. Thank you.